If you've paid attention to the housing market recently, you understand that affordable housing is obviously relative. Latest MLS report says the median cost of a home in Ada County is more than half a million dollars, which is actually down about 10% from last year. But no matter what source you search, you're going to see Idaho's real estate value has increased a lot in the last few years. Not uncommon for property to double in value. So you might have to go to some lengths to find a home that, you know, fits your needs. And if you found anything during COVID, you know, convenience of working from home might be a thing. Have you looked in Idaho City? There's a unique home there that comes with a business all in one. Here's Andrew Bartline. Right on the corner of one of Idaho's most unique premises is protruding even more points. I was driving past it constantly going, one day I want to get in there. And in here, always, people are always digging through it. Jamie Brown's the owner. They find some really cool books. But that's not all. Knickknacks, glass, we have a lot of glass. Some are rare. The cobalt blue, that's a, that's a big one. In a secondhand store that's one of a kind. It's a magical place. Things show up out of nowhere, and you're like, how? I've been in this store for two years, how? Jessica Tam notices new additions each time she walks the halls. That's the constant through the collection of the uncommon. It's a staple. It's a gathering place for a lot of people. It's a gathering place? The sluice box. Named for the people. The gold mining thing. You know at the end of the, of the equipment where all the gold gets shaken down to, that's the sluice box. That's where you find all the treasure, all the gold. Makes sense because we're at the end of Main Street. And this is where you find all the treasures. Which can sometimes be debatable. Yes, the old shag carpet. Uh, but there's a price for everything. Oh, we're in the Wild West, man. Everything. I'm ready for the next adventure because I think I've taken it basically as far as I can take it. Jamie's just the third owner since the 1970s, and she ran it for two years. It's zoned for home and business, meaning some of the family lives on the top floor and works at the business on the bottom floor. We worked the deal. Which is now two businesses. This, putting the coffee shop in, lightening it up, brightening it up, giving it new life. New life for a household of household items. We just have to tell everybody the dust is free. All looking for a new life. I hope whoever gets it next gives it the same love and care and just adds maybe a new element to it. All behind a call out on the corner for a new owner. And I don't know where all this stuff came from. I wish I knew the story behind a lot of these things because I pick things up and I'm like, where did this come from? And I don't like, do I want to know? Do, I don't know. That current owner, Jamie, says the building feels like a quilt to her. She knows the names of the couples who owned it before her. She says each owner has added on something new to the building or contributed in some way. And she says she wants that to continue, Brian. Yeah. For $350,000, that could be you. That's the asking price. Again, you've got a home and a business for one sweet price. I would like if I could roll out of bed and go straight to work. And roll down the stairs. Put on clothes and come here and talk to you. It's a whole thing. <laughs> I've always wondered why they call it the sluice box, and now I know. I know. I was very satisfied with the answer, actually. It's a great answer. Gold mining thing. Pretty cool. Thanks. Cool story, Andrew.